Hi everyone! So last week I shared with you a thrift haul. So apparently today I thought I would go dumpster diving. Not really. So a few days ago, Matt had set his wallet on the kitchen table and it disappeared. We have no idea where it went. No one was in our house. So it was either the kids or I or Matt himself moved his wallet and we have searched our house up and down through everything we can think of except for one thing the garbage so I'm gonna go through the garbage today because tomorrow's actually garbage day and I don't want to have the garbage go and still not find this wallet so I'm guessing this has got to be where it is we have checked everywhere we can think of we're thinking maybe Eli picked it up and was playing with it. He had been playing with the backpacks. We checked all the backpacks. We checked all the toys everywhere we could think of. This is the last spot we could think of. I had to move out of the wind a little bit. It has been raining on and off all day. And so I snuck out at least for a little bit between rain, but the wind is really starting to pick up. So it's probably the worst time for me to be doing this. But as I was saying, I uh, figured I better explain myself, or better yet, explain Matt, because uh, it is Matt's wallet that I'm looking for, not mine. So I feel like somebody's gonna be like, uh, should Matt not be doing that? And yeah, perhaps he should, but <laughs> he is busy. He is painting the kids' room. We are getting all of that resituated, and um, I'm just grateful he's doing that, and he does a much better job than I. So I will let him do that and I will take the burden of this and hopefully we find his wallet and it's worth this hard work. First bag, it's not in here. This is the most recent one we brought out so I really thought this was around the time we lost it. So it's not in here, I'm guessing it's in the one that's still in the house. I was going to bring it out later. Oh, and things accidentally get thrown away. Somebody's tie. How'd that happen? It's not in there. All right, so I'm going to have to revisit the search in a little bit. You see that? Hear that? <laughs> it is starting to rain. I'm going to go in the house. I don't know, get some work done. Take care of some more tomatoes, something. I'll get back at this later. After I checked those garbages and the rain just started coming down, I came in the house with full intentions of either getting something done with tomatoes or going downstairs and working. And do you ever get to the point where you just have so many things going on you can't pick what you're going to do? So you just do none of them? That was just how my day was going. So I went and took a nap. It was the perfect day to take a nap. So it was pouring rain, it was thundering, it was lightning, Eli was napping, so it was really quiet, and um, I was able to do that. So now that I'm up, it actually stopped raining, it was really cool outside. Fall is here, so we've got the windows open, and I'm going to get some supper going and uh, do something with tomatoes. You can see that rain, but it's coming down again. I'm actually really behind on laundry, but all this rain... I'm done. Okay. Everything in our house is a drying rack right now.
some bone broth in there and that's chicken. So supper so much tonight is, uh, I didn't plan for supper tonight. <laughs> Rice, some cooked chicken from the freezer, some bone broth, a little bit of veggies and seasoning, and hopefully it turns out all right. Threw it in the oven, our oven door actually just broke. So I've been using the oven or the stove cover that Matt made me just to kind of hold it shut. We literally just bought a new washer, a new dryer, and a new freezer. So the oven, We'll wait for another day. Still looking for our wallet. Can't find it anywhere. We don't know what we did, or Eli did with it. I think you're the culprit. Right there. <laughs> Was it you? Yeah, <laughs> what'd you do with it? April bit. <laughs> he moved it, he said. <laughs> yeah, he says he moved it. We cannot find it anywhere. This is crazy. So it's a whole nother day. And I don't know if you can tell. But our house is complete chaos. And here's why. What you doing, Matt? Dismantle. Bye bye red room and built in desk. <laughs> got done painting and now we got a can. <laughs> and then we have to put all this stuff back in the rooms. <laughs> so we're inside doing the kids' room. We're almost done. I was hanging the curtains and it dawned on me. We just had a ton of rain, which we're blessed to have. But what happens when you get a ton of rain? Tomatoes split. So I asked Leroy, can you go down, see if we have any tomatoes in the garden that are red, not pink, all the red ones and bring them up and we'll just make some salsa, start canning salsa. I cannot believe we have that much. It is insane. <laughs> we gotta make some salsa, woo! <laughs> So we are on the fourth or fifth day of this vlog, I think it's taken forever to get this vlog done, which isn't like us, but we've got some apples to pick. They're ready. Whoa. Oh. And one. Got it. Yeah. On that side, this is a nice good guy. There you go, guys. Dad, can I get another one too? I want one, one, two. Oh, oh no! <laughs> can you grab that one? Twisted, Eli. So we ended up getting 52 jars of pizza sauce for the cover, which is awesome. So that is enough jars of pizza sauce for one pizza movie night every week mm -hmm. for the whole next year, which is super cool. The thing is, we've got a ton more tomatoes. <laughs> this whole wheelbarrow is about half full of these gigantic tomatoes and there are a lot more in the garden, so. I have to make sure that these are getting in there and we're gonna get them going today. I think we're gonna start a batch of salsa because we have enough pizza sauce. It is definitely time for salsa, I think. 
We might be end up having some dessert tonight, or at least we'll get to use our apple core finally. Only 13 apples. There were about 19 in the tree last month, so it looks like we did month. lose yeah. about a month ago. Yeah. So yeah. we did lose quite a few. We want to say thank you for coming along with this wild vlog we had. Mm -hmm. kind of been a long couple of days, but definitely worth it. Now we're pulling our house together, and we got more canning to do. And it's a good feeling to have all the rooms done and painted also. Yeah. Glad you got to see us again. Bye. <laughs> Bye.